So the word of Revelator for today, we'll be trusting God for a word from within the word. More than just a scripture, I'm going to teach you what I feel we need to keep in mind when waiting on the Lord. A few things we need to know. <sighs> the Lord does not delay. When waiting on God, the Lord does not delay. We might think so, but let's go through the process. 2 Peter 3 verse 9. The Lord does not delay and is not tardy or slow about what he promises. According to some people's conception of slowness, that is very important. We have an idea of when it should be happening. I want to tell you, it is happening. But he is long-suffering extraordinarily patient towards you not desiring that any should perish but that all should turn to repentance now there a lot of times in my life i don't know about you god is waiting on me it's not me waiting on him it's him waiting on me certain things need to be in place in order for things to come to pass if you're going to make a cup of coffee there are a few ingredients you need before you could even start making the cup of coffee. And on top of it, they have to be in a certain condition. So what coffee are you looking for? Choose it before you make the cup of coffee. Don't decide afterwards. So you're going to choose what type of coffee you want. And then you're going to choose if you want sugar or not. And when you're going to choose the sugar, what? Brown or white sugar? Or you're going to have fake sugar. Then on top of it, boiling water. If the water is not boiling, not a good cup of coffee and then you need milk and it needs to be fresh and all of these ingredients need to be together including a cup that you're going to pour it into and make it in you cannot make it on the table and then that's including the spoon that's going to stir it else you're going to burn your finger all those things need to be in play and once the milk is in the good con in, in the condition that is needed the water is boiled everything else is in place only then do you put the spoon in the coffee and it does not happen then you have to take that spoon and only when it's over the mouth of the cup do you turn it not a second before and not a second after timing is also incredibly important when it comes to waiting on God the Lord does not delay and he's not tardy or slow about what he promises according to some people's conception yours and mine con my conception of slow but he is long suffering I mean listen it. he suffers long how long have your angels been in gym pumping those muscles getting ready and doing the the sprints and all that just waiting for you and I to get it together but he is long-suffering, extraordinarily patient towards you. Talking about God, not desiring that any should perish, but that all should turn to repentance. I think over my life, a lot of times all the angels and, and kingdom of heaven, it's like, has he got it yet? Please, please tell me, today is it my angels get bored? They really do. So most of the time, I believe God is waiting on us to get it all together. And it is very important that we understand how long it takes. It does. Because we get into this mindset that, you know, it's going to take forever. For God, a thousand years is a day. And one day is as a thousand years. Come on. And it says, after you have suffered a little while. Now, this is going into... 2 Peter 5 and after you have suffered a little while the God of all grace who imparts all blessing and favor who has called to you to called you to his own eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself complete and make you what you ought to be didn't say you will do that doesn't say that you will get it all together and when you are finished and doing what you are doing and saying Tan, ta, da, okay Lord I'm ready to use me it says no it says and after you have suffered a little while the God of all grace who imparts all blessing and favor who has called you to his own eternal glory in Christ Jesus 
will himself complete and make you what you ought to be. Establish and ground you securely and strengthen and settle you. <laughs> no ways. He's going to ground you secu securely so you can take that stand. He is going to strengthen you, make you strong. And strengthen is continual. And then he will settle you. In your heart, you will be settled. It says to him, be the dominion, power, authority, rule forever and ever. Amen. So be it. And it will be so in your life. Step back and allow him to do what he needs to do. Your job, our job is just to be obedient. That's all. Just be obedient. Take a chance. If it is good, it is God. A friend of mine said, oh, Sean, I'm, I'm moving forward. I'm saying as long as your nose is flaring, as you're trying to get extra oxygen, as you feel that heartbeat kind of somewhere in your throat and you feel a little bit woozy, that's probably where God is. And Colossians 3.15 says, Allow the peace of God to act as an umpire, acting with finality, rule in your heart over every decision you have in your mind. <sighs> How nice is that? Wait and hope for. Now this is Psalm 27 verse 14. Wait and hope for and expect the Lord. Do you know what waiting means? It is absolutely amazing. Waiting means to stay in place in expectation of. We said it yesterday. We need to have an expected heart that God will show up. Expectant is waiting to see what you want. Waiting is wait your turn. Sometimes you have to wait for others to be in place in order for. Can you imagine all the people who built the temple for Solomon? They had to wait their turn for Solomon to go, okay, let's build this temple. Else what would have happened in their lives? They just would have been, uh, <laughs> that was their life. But they waited. Sometimes we wait for others to be in place. To remain stationary in readiness or expectation. To look forward expectantly. How's this? Waiting to see it come to pass. Waiting for a chance to strike. Let me know, Lord. I'm waiting. Just let me know. And you hear the Father say, move. Just waiting to see his rival lose thank you lord that the enemy has lost and will lose how cool is that so psalm 27 verse 14 our scripture for today wait and hope for and expect the lord be brave and of good courage and let your heart be stout and enduring yes wait for and hope for and expect the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word as we wait for you. Father, we thank you that behind the scenes and in front of our face, Father, you are organizing our private world. You are preparing us. Yeah, we may feel it's trials. And yeah, Father, as you know, it's like, come on, Lord, come on, Lord. And sometimes you are actually waiting on us. Well, how exciting it is, Father, to know that you in partnership with us, Father, are working it together. So you will change that what you need to change within us. It's up to you. You will make it work, Father. And we acknowledge that, Father. If there's anything that we need to repent on, Father, through your Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, reveal it to us. Reveal it to us. And thank you, Father, that as we've been tried and tested and we suffered for a little while, that you have called us to your own eternal glory in Christ. And you yourself will complete and make us what we ought to be. Established and ground, grounded us, that you ground us securely and strengthen and settle us. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name. Amen.